Okay, we are back. That's very appropriate. <laughs> So for those of you who don't have an agenda or who haven't been tracking this, 
item number five reads as follows. Will the council acting as the local contract review board approve a sole source procurement for the acquisition of ITRON electric meters directly from General Pacific for a term of three years beginning January 1st, 2012 and expiring December 31st, 2014? Um, I think what I will do is take the, the citizen input first, Carol, and then let you speak. So I've got one, two. I've got Jim Fong and Rod Newton. Please come up. Okay, I'm sorry. While you're sitting there, you'll get a close first-hand observation of approval of the minutes. Thank you. Does anyone have any corrections or um, changes to the minutes of the study session of December 5th, the executive session of December 6th, or the regular meeting of December 6th? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Minutes are approved. Thanks for me. Okay, um, you guys each have three minutes. Please give your <coughs> name and address. A little light will push this up. I have that a little go on in a logical sequence. Give me your first. Oh, I'm going to be Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Rod Newton, 1196, Timberline Terrace in Ashland. Um, the meters that, that are on the uh, purchase order are, are uh, meters that send up a signal um, every 30 seconds around the clock. The first generation of these meters says the purpose of these meters is to allow the uh, person who's reading them to just drive by and you know, read them with a handheld thing instead of having to go up to the house. The first generation of these meters, the, the reader uh, then sent out a signal that activated the, the reader to send a signal back. And so there was one burst of high fre frequency radiation a month <coughs> at the time of reading. Uh, what happened was then they, the, they changed it so that they send out a burst every 30 seconds so that when the person drives by, they get that one reading. And then recently, the FCC up the, the limits of what the radiation uh, allows. So um, we, uh, we're concerned about the continual round-the-clock radiation from these meters, the health effects of it, and um, particularly because the old, the first generation meters do the same job just as well with, you know, just one burst of uh, radiation a month. So we met today um, with Lee Thunberg and the mayor and uh, city administrator. And, and the question that I had was, are these, uh, are the first generation meters still available? And could they be used with the city? Because if they could, it would be a, a solution I think that would make everyone happy. And they didn't know the answer to that. So we, we all agree that it would be better to postpone the, the approval of this purchase order until we can get more information about, you know, are there meters that would have less radiation that might be acceptable and do the job? Jim? Uh, Jim Fong, 759 Letter Street, National. Um, I think the uh, piece on this that we were not really aware of until it was trying to take to up on the agenda was uh, this is an, an issue around um, you know, wireless radiation, EMF, electromagnetic frequency, and uh, RF frequency radiation. Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, hold it. Um, that is consistent with the concerns we've had around just Emergence and deployment of this technology, I think the uh, purchase um, procurement request that was before you were uh, uh, talking about something that was done by the council in March of 2009. Kind of well. I think at that point in time, this was technology that we were not kind of on top of and realizing some of the potential health impacts. So we're simply asking the city to kind of take a step to take part in working with the city of San Jose. Let's take a look at this. So we're simply asking the city to kind of take a step to pause. 
So I'm coming out here just to give you a little bit of a sense of what's going on. Um, as for anyone who's familiar with small town democracy, city council meetings are actually usually pretty long and pretty tedious. And they have a number of items on the agenda. Right now they're addressing uh, some meters that evidently put out radiation and they're looking at um, trying to find a meter that does not put out as much radiation. So uh, what we're doing, we have some occupiers out here in the uh, foyer, and then there are also many who are inside the council chambers. And we are on the agenda, and uh, we will have a spokesperson who will be presenting our case for moving Ashland's money uh, later in the through the council meeting. And uh, we are choosing, rather than to actually disrupt the council meeting, we're choosing to actually present our case um, according to their protocols because we feel that we will get a better response and be able to establish a relationship um, for working with the council rather than alienating them. So that's the approach that we uh, in our General Assembly have chosen to take um, to work within their structures, within their procedures, and to certainly make our presence be known, but not to create a scene and not to create conflict. Um, one thing, when, when you live in a small town, um, these people are all our neighbors, and they're our friends, and they're our family. Um, they're people that we see on the street. They're people we see when we go shopping. And so it's important for us to be able to maintain good neighbor relations uh, because these are the people who are in our lives on a daily basis. They aren't just our politicians. So it's important for us to be able to maintain good relations with them. And uh, a little bit different than in a big city where sometimes you have to, you know, make a big statement in order to even be noticed. So here in Ashland, uh, we're just, you know, kind of working along with what it is. So uh, be patient, and I will continue streaming live through the whole city council meeting um, if it's interesting to you. And my understanding is that we should be on the agenda roughly an hour from now. So if you want to go do something else and check back in, um, you know, you can do that. Uh, also, just stick with us and watch the tedious process of small town democracy unfold. Um, one thing about small towns is, you know, one of the few places on the planet where democracy is somewhat still alive and well, and we're doing our best to preserve it. So I'm going to go back into the chambers now and then just, uh, you know, stream what's happening. In fact, I'm noticing there's a monitor out here, and if I can get a good uh, feed from the monitor, I may just stream from the monitor rather than from in chambers. Uh, to save on future costs, both uh, staff and equipment for reading, we were trying to avoid adding a second meter reader in equipment and training and whatnot. So there's not a good quantification for if we were to stop the program, you know, how much it would cost us or how much uh, we wouldn't be saving. Okay. Thank you. Russ? Um, I move approval of the sole source procurement for Hytron electric meters. Is there a second for that motion? No second. Go ahead. Um, like we said, we, this is a, a, a long standing conversion. Uh, at least 